What's happening everybody? This is Heath coming to you from the Southern Fried Rod Shop putting a video out. Yes, update video on what's going on. You know a lot of people have been uh, talking about not a lot of videos have come out here lately. Everybody's got stuff going on in the summer. Uh, same here, you know. Weekends to try to spend time with the kids, go out to the lake and everything and uh, have a good time before school starts back. I try to do most of my building through the week. When I get off of work, I'll have a little time in the afternoons to get some stuff done. So, uh, I don't have a whole, whole lot as far as an update goes, but uh, it's something. So, before I start that, I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I noticed I'm almost at 110 subscribers. And when I first started this, I didn't know if I'd get three or four or five but 107, I do believe I have. Uh, that's awesome, guys. I really appreciate it. And I wouldn't have cared if I had two. I would have still kept posting videos because I love this hobby. I love building. I love watching you guys build models, uh, learning from you. And uh, this is a really cool thing. I appreciate everyone that has shared my videos. Thank you so much for that. Everyone that comments. All of you guys, I appreciate it so much, and I thank you for everything in this community that goes on. Really awesome to be a part of it. So what I'm going to do is pan down here and show you where I'm at right now. Now, I've had a lot of inspiration on this kit, and I've had some help, and I think that's the coolest part of this community. The inspiration you get for your builds people are willing to help out where you need it and I really love that aspect of the community so this started out as me being inspired by Chris Chapman's video on the sponge rusting to do a model I got the AMT kit started the sponge rusting I got it to where I thought I liked it you know I think it turned out alright for my first time uh, I put a couple of sneak peek photos on this on Facebook, so if you're friends with me or you're in the model car group I'm in, a few of you guys have already seen this. I know Chris Chapman has. Will over 420 Garage. Doc Cranky's seen it. So, here's the car so far. It doesn't have an engine in it yet because I wanted to, like I said at the beginning, beef the motor up some from what it was out of the box. So I've got a carburetor on there. It's a VCG resins that I got from Chip at Extreme, at extreme Scale Detail. Sorry. Uh, the air cleaner is also something out of the parts box. That came off a Chevy pickup, I do believe. And my problem with the motor right now are the headers. I did not like the headers that were on the kit, so I swapped them out for some of these that I had in the parts box. And they were the only ones I had in the park box, but I really liked them. I liked how they kind of beefed the motor up a little bit, you know, added a little bit more width to it. And just, uh, to me, it turned out pretty sharp. The problem is they're too wide for the motor to fit in the engine bay. Tried to do a little shaving. That didn't really work. So right now I'm at a standstill with it till I could either wait till I get into the, some more builds and see if I can find some headers I could swap out or I really like the way that motor turned out so I may save it and put it in another kit and just build another motor for this car with smaller headers in the future but I'm not really you know in a hurry to do that because I know the diorama is not going to be done anytime soon so I don't want to rush it but I do want to show you guys that have not seen the car I uh, had a few suggestions on doing a little black wash on the rims, and I did do that. So, thank you guys that suggested it. Uh, I might have would have thought of that, but at the time I'd had so much on my mind about what I wanted to do with this car and everything. Really excited about the rusting that I didn't mention it in that video. But I do appreciate you guys uh, reminding me to get that done. I think it turned out pretty sweet there. Now these decals you're looking at, that's what uh, Will over at 420 Garage hooked me up with. And I really thank him for that because to me this build wouldn't have been complete without them. 
you know every surf wagon you see has the little decals stickers all over the back glass and to me that's you know they're not gonna look right if you don't have that uh, sorry for the shakiness I am gonna move around pan to the back and show you guys I have the Feeling Lucky decal I got off the Dr. Cranky sheet that I put on the back glass. A couple more little stickers to go with it. Alright. Now, the other side of the windows look just like this. I'm also going to show you, these surfboards are just up there for mock-up. I didn't build them for this car, but I just, you know, used it for mock-up right now. Uh, by the way, that is my favorite surfboard. I love that little temporary tat pretty sweet but anyway I'm gonna take these off real quick and show you the roof rack that I did build for it uh, I was gonna go with balsa wood but what I got I just really didn't think it was you know in scale at the time when I purchased it I thought it was but the more I looked at it I didn't like it I was walking through dollar store uh, probably last week sometime found these large matchsticks and I said, you know what? That looks like something Chapman would use. So I grabbed them, brought them home, cut the heads off of them, mocked it up, glued them together, uh, stained them mahogany, and threw it up on top of the car. I haven't glued it down yet because I don't know if I want to run. I was thinking about either running a black or brown thread around your where they connect to the bottom board to kind of make it look like they've been tied together don't know if I want to do that yet so you know if it looks crooked on camera it might be because like I said it's just kind of mocked up right now now also I got a little section of fence there in the back my plans are when I get the funds for it if you've ever put a diorama together which I'm sure many of you have you guys know that uh, some of this stuff can be pretty expensive I want to go with a palm tree right back here in the corner, but the one I want, I think you have to buy a set of two and they're 20 bucks. So there's $20 right there for some palm trees, but they look really realistic. I think they're from American Diorama. I have built a palm tree before, but these to me, they look far more realistic than what I got out of the one I built, and that's what I want to go with. Also, I want to give me some little bikini ladies over here. I got this towel just kind of, you know, put here in this area just to kind of see where I want stuff to be at. And I want her, I want a girl, you know, laying out on the towel and maybe one over here to talk to her. And I was inspired by that by Dr. Cranky's, uh, I do believe he called it the beachcomber when he did his Nomad Surf Wagon. Really awesome. I love that. But again, that type of stuff, as you know, is fairly expensive. You know, it's probably by the time you pay for one of the figurines and shipping it's like 20 bucks for each one so this is going to take me a little bit guys but like i said i did want to do an update video and show you where i'm at now i do believe when i get the little bikini girls on there and the palm tree and everything i may try to get me some little grass to go here and there just to add a little bit more to it uh got the tiki guy there in the back chilling out on a rock uh don't know exactly if he's going to stay there or not, but just kind of seeing where everything's going to go and how I'm going to do it. But, uh, yeah, this is my favorite thing to do, guys. I love the rusty old cars, rat rods with the roof rack and the surfboards, the decals. You know, Will Bud, I appreciate that so much. That just, to me, that sets it off. I really like those decals on there. And it wouldn't be a surf wagon without them. Uh, I like the fact that I was able to incorporate that feeling lucky decal on there. And for you guys that didn't get to see it on Facebook, I don't know how good of a shot I'm going to get, but there is a towel draped over the back seat, okay? There's a little DVD case in there on the back seat. In the far back there, there's some boxes. I think you might be able to see them. I uh, built those up. That was a pain in the butt. Also, there's a toolbox with some decals on it, and there's some tools all right, now, uh, first time I've really built boxes and added that much to an interior, that was really fun. I enjoyed doing that. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot. You got the dice in the mirror, and you got the gear shifter that's got the dice head on it. So that's why I wanted to get that feeling lucky 
decal on the back because it had the dice as well. So I thought, hey, it's the it's the scheme, you know, throw them in there, get it on. I thought it looked pretty sweet. Uh, got the bumpers on. They're rusted up a little bit. When I get that motor in, I'll show you guys that. But right now, you know, there's really nothing to look at. I like the stance, the way it turned out. You know, it's pretty much front and rear are leveled out. Love that rusting technique. That'll probably be the one I do from now on. So, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff I want to talk about, but every time I start a video, I forget half of it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, let's kind of pan around, show you. Now, one thing that's really cool, other than the car, I really didn't have to buy any of this stuff or give a lot of money for it. The glue I used to put the sand down, I already had. The sand I already had from the beach diorama that I built, and you guys have seen that. Put that on there earlier, all right? That's a piece of cut up t-shirt. The tiki guy I had, rock I got out of the yard, the fence I had, and this plaque, uh, if you watched my last video, you heard that my wife works at a thrift store which I absolutely love. I find stuff in there all the time that I could use. I give 99 cents for this plaque, all right? And it wasn't stained or anything. It had the plastic wrap on it. And I, it caught my eye when I walked by. And, you know, I was like, 99 cents, I could find something for this. Brought it home. The imagination started running. I said, hey, I'm going to take that Nomad. I'm going to build me a little surfing diorama and uh go from there like i said we're gonna have girls chilling over here we're gonna have a palm tree also those decals that will sent me i'm gonna use either the long borders parking only or the surfers parking only and i'm either going to try to buy me a resin sign or i got some sheet styrene i may try my hand at making one and put it over here at the end of the fence and then we're gonna have a palm tree uh if you got any ideas for this corner right here, you think I should leave it alone, let me know. Because I may end up adding too much. Who knows? And then we'll have the girls chilling here. Alright? In the future, what I want to do is build an even bigger plaque than this. And have the Nomad and that 50 Chevy truck that I have yet to do park side by side. Surfboards in the back of that truck. And I just want one big beach party. And I actually want to do a diorama where I've added some water. Uh, I've watched a couple little videos on that yet. Uh, my problem is my imagination is at a level where my bank account is not. So, <laughs> a lot of fun, cool stuff I want to do, but uh, can't afford it right now. But, it'll still be here. And I'll buy a few things at the time. And when I get it where I want it, I'll be satisfied with it. And I'll move on to something else. But, another thing I was thinking about, since I live here in Alabama, next March, I am definitely going to make it out to the Birmingham Classic Model Car Show. I uh, hope to meet a few of you guys. And also, if I get this thing looking okay, I may take this with me. I don't even care if I win anything or if it places. I'm not going to be disappointed. I just want to take it, let everybody see my work. I want to go look at everybody else's work. Hopefully, I'll have a little cash to go down there and buy me some kits and just have a great time. Really looking forward to it. Uh, all right, so I've rambled on long enough. Any suggestions on what to add over here? Let me know, guys. So until next time, this is Heath from the Southern Fried Rod Shop, and I'll talk to you soon, guys.